nothing on my face. Like my face feels so dry because I've been making sure I have everything <laughs> set up. I just feel so cringe right now, but I'm just gonna fight through this quick moment. Today is Moan Shot Monday. Y'all already know. I thank you all for watching. I was so excited that the last video really did great, like in under 24 hours. So I was like, okay, y'all like this. We're gonna keep it going. I think I'm gonna do skincare first just because I just cannot, like, I I I just I just cannot. Today is skincare plus moan shot. What other clip? Okay, we could do with that. This is what I use to wash my face. My stuff is a little bit bright, but this is the even tone. Even Tone Cleansing Bar 3-in-1 Treatment. It's going to even out your skin tone. And this is by Urban Skin RX. I will do my best to link everything in the description box below. It comes with two exfoliation pads. I advise you don't use those every day because you will thin your skin and it will start to burn. It'll start to be irritated, really sensitive to the point where when you put on other products, it will literally sting. I literally just washed my face as y'all can tell they so dry. So I'm going to go in with this Burst Weekend Glow brightening solution i don't use toners all the time but for this purpose of me showing you all the full skincare nighttime is like when i will actually use the majority of my serums and toners and things because i can kind of put it on my face and not worry about either how oily it is or whatever i just go in the same direction of the skin well i no let me not even say that that makes no sense i go up i just don't believe in like pulling the skin down for me, it was a common sense thing. Like, why would I want to pull my skin down? But in case you didn't think about it that way, I'm here to tell you, massage up. I don't do that much toner because my skin will sometimes trap oils or trap product if I do too much. So I try not to do too much. Next thing I'll go in is one of my favorite brands, Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Water Drench Hyaluronic Hydrating Eye Gel. If you want these products, you can definitely check them out. This will be linked in the bio as well. Anything you're applying on your under eye, co-worker to put it on my ring finger because we don't use that finger that much so it is going to apply the least amount of pressure under your eye and you don't want to be harsh under your eye area because this area bruises easily it wrinkles easily it's just a very sensitive soft area you know soft and kind so let's treat it that way i let that sit so you want to go in the order of the thickness of your um serums moisturizers and oils just don't start with your moisturizer and put everything on top because moisturizer is thick so how's it going to penetrate that and penetrate your skin no shade. After I do the skin brightening toner, I'm gonna go in with this um, Get Toned Tula Resurfacing Toner. Now this one is more of like a serum I found. It doesn't really act like a toner too, too, too much. And she's out of it. So just for this clip here, we will use the rest of it. And because it wasn't that much, I barely did anything, but that is what I do. So if you wanna grab this, this is a Tula Get Toned Pro, Pro Glycolic um, resurfacing toner. And again, I love Tula. They have a really good under eye um, depuffing thing, but I've been drinking a lot of water and I have been getting enough rest. Probably not as much as I should, but I've been getting enough. I don't really have like really puffy eye bags. I also stopped drinking in January. I've, I've, I've had glasses of wine. I don't think, I don't think a lady is, you know, being judged by her wine intake. My Favorite skin oil is either just a plain vitamin E for the drugstore. If you can't find this, this is very hard to find. I would recommend you just getting it off Amazon, but it's the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with vitamin E. Skin therapy oil, but it's specialized for your face, so it's not super thick. So I take a few drops of that, mix it between both hands. I used to drop it on my face, but I feel like I was wasting product. And I just tap it in, you guys see. This is like one of my favorite products for my face. I'll be a little bit more... Um, heavy handed at night than I will during the daytime. Cause like I said, I'm not walking around looking like a glazed donut. I still don't do too, too, too much cause I don't want to clog my pores, honey. With that, I'm going to go in with my Burst. Now this is the same brand as the toner. This is a eye advanced retinoid balm. So basically retinoids will like give your skin some collagen. I'm lying. I don't really know, but I think it's supposed to just like prevent wrinkles and do tightening. So I, I do that on the same ring finger. I like to heat it up because it's more of a balm. It's like a balm, think about like a lip balm. I heat it up by just holding my two fingers together, smear it around, and then I tap it. I even go on the top a little bit too because I just want to protect that whole eye area. So that's that. Now let's go in with my Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Cream Hydrating Moisturizer by Peter Thomas Roth. Now this does not have SPF in it, this is my nighttime moisturizer. My daytime moisturizer by Peter Thomas Roth is the same thing, but it has SPF in it. So I use about literally a dollop, no shade, and 
I pat all the way down to my neck. You can take all of this all the way down to your neck, but today, honey, I have to be at work at three in the morning, as y'all know. It's like 8.30, probably nine o'clock, because I got off the shower. I have mascara under my eyes still. Now, next, I'm gonna go on my Burt's Bees. You can use any lip exfoliant that you want. This is just like a sugar exfoliator. It tastes good. You can eat it off your lips. Sometimes I eat it off my lips, sometimes I don't. Today, I've been like wiping my lips off a lot because I wore lipstick lip gloss for like most of the day. So, you know, with big lips, often pills your lips. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you get another clean pad. Oh, but it tastes so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with this Lanige or Laniage or Lanige, however you hoes wanna say it. Um, lip sleeping mask. <laughs> it's very hydrating. I love it. It smells like vanilla. Ladies, keep this by your bedside if you got a man because he gonna wanna kiss it off of you, then you're gonna be over it, but you're gonna be in it, but you're gonna be over it, and you're gonna have to reapply. This is the skincare. Is she glowing? Is she glowing? Is she giving what it needs to give? Okay, to top it all off, like I said, I always have water. Mm. Now, it's time to get into the moan shot of the moan of the shots. Y'all already know I'm a BNG girl. I get my fresh napkins, rip them in half, have my alcohol on hand, spray that thing. I did put lotion on, so I'm gonna do, it's very rough. I'm gonna do two, two squirts. I just turned it inside out, cause like, you know what? All right, we clean the whole area. This is a brand new box of my own, so we got, oh my God, that bird just tried to attack me. It's like a brand new two liter, no shade. No shade, it's like a pair of white forces. I've never shown y'all a fresh vial. So this is a fresh vial, Asher's all. This cap is disposable. Don't worry about trying to put it back on. You will bother yourself. Just clean it off every time you go to use it. It is This vial is reusable. This yellow part, this is just the top for packaging. You just pop it off. Do not use your teeth. Don't take this silver part off. Come on, like, listen to your mother. Set that to the side. I'm gonna get my needle to draw it out. This is my syringe. Get my needle. The first one, this is the big one, not the one that you use for your arm. When I first started my moans, I was using this one for my arm. Yeah, me and my dad, we had an amazing dinner. I twisted this one. I took him to my dollar taco spot. That was fab. What a look at that. That was nice. It was fun. So now I'm going to push this air out. But that was fun. We had nice drinks. We caught up. We hadn't had like a father-daughter moment like that and probably maybe like three months so it was like we were long overdue for that situation and it was nice it was nice not coming straight home and going straight to sleep like i normally do which makes me sometimes feel like a recluse today i got some bubbles in here because i'm moving fast because i really want to get in the bed until i don't see none i just like you know updating him on all the things that have been going on the changes i'm getting ready to you know do some big fun things, which I'm going to bring you all along that journey. I'll share once it happens, not a second before, but definitely the second after. Just telling them about, you know, some stuff going on at work and how I'm doing really good and how, you know, I just, I'm really making big moves this year for myself and really, you know, setting myself up for my 30s, as I tell y'all, and I'm really excited for that. So that is pretty much, you know, how our dinner went. I truly enjoyed my time with my gay dad, and it was everything and then some. Mm -hmm. We in there. But, um, you know, a lot of changes are happening this year, and I'm welcoming them. I'm allowing them to happen. But I'm also remembering to be patient with myself. I'm also remembering that, you know, it takes time for a caterpillar to turn into a butterfly. And I'm not really talking about my transition. I'm more so just talking about things I want to happen, like moving, promotions, and, you know, I want to get my podcast back up off the ground, which this is kind of like serving as that. It's been amazing. This is kind of like a weekly journey. I mean, a weekly journal that I get to share with you guys, and that's done. So that's always nice. I, I kind of get motivated to do my hormone shot. Not that I was not motivated before. I am always motivated to become the best version of myself. It's just a part of me that my mom instilled and I've kept that through everything. But patience has been something that I am learning. And I was talking to my dad about a lot and, and I'm going through a moment with 
you know, different things in my life that I'm just realizing need to change. I'm outgrowing and being able to have like a very, very honest and just open discussion because he's known me for, you know, almost what, like six, seven years now. So um, he knows the girl and he knows when I'm doing good. He knows when I'm lying about doing good and really not doing my best. And He's, he was really proud of me, which made me proud of myself. And he was like, you know, you're really patient. You know, you've become very, very, very patient. And I really, I was really happy to hear him say that because that's something that I, y'all know, have been practicing is patience. Whether it's been with people, myself, all of that. The moonshot shot was perfect this week. We love that. I just want to thank y'all so much. Like, y'all really inspired me and motivated me to really never give up on this channel and even though I never gave up like I mean really go hard that's what I should say and y'all have inspired me because we have something here we have something that nobody else has and it's Moan Shop Monday and I know a lot of the girls show you know surgeries and I love 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 watching the girls go get like like watching trans girls go get facial feminization surgeries and go get breast augmentations and different procedures because it motivates and inspires me to be like I'm strong enough to do that if that's something that you know I decide that I want to do um but not that many girls show this part of the journey so I'm very excited that I have kind of found my niche again in YouTube and, and I have a purpose. And I think whether you're in ballroom, whether you're in the, the, the club drag scene, like club kid drag scene, whether you are in the pageant drag scene, like w w whatever it is, or whether you're just, you know, your everyday girl living a trans life. It could be very discouraging one if you don't have people around you. It could be very discouraging when you do have people around you, especially um trans women that are you know further on in their um, journeys and they kind of give you advice and you feel like, do I follow it because this is this person is telling me to do these things and I love the way they look and they're gorgeous to me and blah, 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 blah. I just I just like being able to just be be real real about the situation like bitch I take a moan shot every week like estrogen is not just pr being produced in my body I don't take a pill and it's produced like no we literally inject this so I'm gonna always keep it real I'm always keeping a buck I'm gonna keep it a hundred and you know when it's up it's stuck it's been real and it's been fun but it ain't been real fun like comment subscribe and I will see you in my next one Mwah. no boss <laughs> pretty ass lips make these bitches cop syringes